The, the, the park has changed. Look behind you, there's nothing there. There are eight steps to the boat lake. That's all that's left of our memories. Nothing else. There's no rides, there's no children, there's no uh, French fries, there's no penny arcade, nothing is left. It's a flat level ground with some picnic tables. And this is what it's gonna be forever. Gwen Oak Park is not coming back. Gwen Oak Park, I got stitches, somebody hit me with a brick, somebody called me, and it was a, it was somebody, a Caucasian person, a lady called me, and I, I, to the day I don't know, I knew it was a voice that I knew I had heard, it seemed like time enough to recognize the voice, so I turned, and when I turned, I turned too close to the, to the crowd that was surrounding the picket line, and uh, Somebody hit me with a brick uh, in the head. It never impacted me like, uh, let me get down there, I'll show them what's going on. It, it wasn't the case at all. It, it just, I, I didn't like it. I, I don't think it was uh, a racial thing. I think it was, I didn't like people screwing with my park. I didn't like people trying to make my park not what it was. Uh, not that uh, segregation made it any different. But I, the, the disruption from making this statement, I think, is what upset me. Uh, uh, it, was, it was kicking the park in the tail. And uh, yes, they were wrong. But yes, I didn't like it because it was hurting the park that I loved. Dave, we did this for the simple reason that uh, we are committed to the desegregation of the Green Oak Park in 1963. Uh, those whom we represent uh, charged us to come here and to indicate that, and so we have no other alternative. We had to go over there that day, and they were expecting us, a bunch of us from CORE. So I walked up to the front gate, because they, they really hate me now. And they're all, all the guards are standing there, all the guys they brought in from the outside to pummel demonstrators, the owners standing there, they're standing with arms barred, and the cops are standing around. And they said, Romer, you are not getting in here. And I said, that's perfectly all right because the rest of us are already in. And what happened was they all, all came up to greet me. The rest of the core people went around the back of the park and they crossed a little stream there and they ran, came into the park from the back. And somebody screamed, oh my God, the niggers got in from the back. So all these people at the front gate turn around and start running into the park to catch the niggers who got in the back. And so I strolled down the middle of the park. Oh, that's perfect. A couple of goons come up, one of them grabs my arms, one of them stands in front of me, goes boom, 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 smashing my glasses again, knock me down, stomp on me, tear my coat, my shirt. I'm a bloody mess. They pick me up, they take me over to a Baltimore City cop who's standing there, throw me, a Baltimore County cop, throw me at his feet and say, here he is, arrest him. And they took me aside and they said, you know, the way this went on July 4th, it was like a very formalized ritual. We crossed the line, the police arrested us. So another group crossed the line, the p police arrested them. It was just very formal, very boring. We have discovered there is a way into the park from the back. You have to cross a stream, and then you're actually in the park, and you can go to the merry-go-round, you can go to the Ferris wheel, you know, straight there. So we're gonna do it that way. That feels much more real to us. Are you, you want to join us? Well, I didn't know a soul except for them. I'd been in Baltimore for years, except to visit my parents. So I said, well, sure, okay. And I like the idea of being really in the park. So they take me to the back of the park and I take my shoes off to cross the stream. And in that 
photograph that appeared in the Baltimore Sun, my shoes are in my hand, right? And we start our way into the park. But what nobody had taken into account was because of the July 4th demonstration, there had been these huge newspaper stories. And a lot of people who thought it was their park, white folks from Baltimore County, it was their park, and the county um, executive was Spiro Agnew, who later became Vice President of the United States. And he was defending the park and private property and the rights of the owners to make it white only if they wanted to. But now there were thousands of people, white folks in the park, who were prepared to defend it against these nasty integrators, right? Left-wingers, God knows what we were. They had a nasty name for us, which I won't repeat, even now, even 50 years later. <laughs> so they saw us. There was a group of seven or eight of us, black and white, women and men, mostly student age and me. I was older than the others. And they were furious. So they started yelling at us, very nasty names, screaming at us. And then at least one of them, maybe more, started throwing stones at us. One of them caught one of us on the side of the face and she started to bleed. We were met with a very hostile group of people. And we stopped because I don't think any of us had seen that kind of hostility from so many people at one time. And uh, one woman with a child hanging onto her skirt came up, called me a nigger lover and threw a rock at my head. And then we began to move forward. I don't know quite why. I can't tell you why. <laughs> but we weren't going to stand there. I mean, <laughs> we weren't going to stand there, so we moved forward. And then they surrounded us, and they started pushing. And I knew that there was this, this kind of process. If you fell, then it was like you weren't human anymore if you were fallen on the ground and they beat you up and possibly killed you. That's what I knew from studying these race rides back in 1919. So I am standing there realizing I am living in the middle of what I just gave my mother to type, right? And they were on the verge of, they were already pushing and yelling and shoving and the police arrived. The police arrive and they arrest us for integrating the park, trespass, right? They don't arrest anybody for throwing stones. They don't arrest anybody for assault. They arrested us for trespass. And they saved their lives by arresting us for trespass. And they took us away. The folks in the park backed off when the police came and they, the police took us away. I remember we're singing, we shall overcome. One of the verses says, we are not afraid. So we sang that verse, we are not afraid. We were very afraid. 